Atlanta, we're taking another trip. This time we're going to Athens because they have opened up to Americans. Um, but we're flying through Rome because all of the flights nonstop to Athens got booked up very quickly. Um, we overnighted here in New Jersey uh, and we tried to check in last night um, and we went to the customer service desk and they said, oh, you need to talk to the Europe people because they have all the stickers and the markers. We tried to go to the Europe people. And, they didn't know how to do it. They said we needed more forms for Rome, which isn't true. And so anyway, I came back today and finally have our stickers so that we are cleared to board. So now we're just waiting for the flight. There's the premier access area over there where uh, they finally were able to read the rules and figure out what they needed to look for and verify our documents. So I'm looking forward to actually being in Europe for the first time in a long time. So the Polaris Club is closed, but as a substitute for getting a little star punched in our pass, so that means that we can get top shelf stuff from the bar. And they've added Okay, right, so we are boarded the flight to Rome, and uh, it's pretty full. I just have, I just have one white pillow. Um, anyway, true Polaris, so. This will be nice. Be great. So, they now have the new Olympic bags as uh, their amenity kits. So, that means that we have the Olympic branded mask there. And, uh, you know, some Sunday Riley and let's see what we got. The, uh, oh, the Stripal Dental Kit and Stripey Socks with grippy feet. These are good for when you want to go to the trampoline parks. You have to have the grippy feet. I got the beef short ribs. I was taken off of the packaging. Dreamliner has these electronic windows that sort of automatically change. So now that it, the sun is rising in Europe, they're slowly turning more light. And then a very nice breakfast service. Again, it was wrapped for my safety. And uh, the, the bread is ice cold. So needs to be warm, but uh, nice. nice quiche there. So, we're waiting online for our arrival test, which there was a lot of conflicting information about whether we made it or not, but they definitely are making us do it. But at least it's cheaper here than it was in Newark by a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of conflicting information. The, the bottom line is that we didn't need a departure test. We just needed a vaccine um, and a PFL for Greece. We did not need a PFL for Italy, but we did one anyway. So now we're waiting online for us to have our news. The line just doesn't move for a long time. We were like the first. 20 people off, and yet, here we are. All right, so we have arrived in Athens, Greece. Hi. We totally were forced to take more tests, COVID tests, and pay for them. Um, but, you know, anyway, we flew on Aegean, which was a little bit of an experience. Um, 
in chaos, but the airplane was beautiful. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing the Airbnb in Placa. So Rob is going down towards the apartment and uh, we have just arrived. And up there, you can see the Acropolis right in the neighborhood. So it's nice to have arrived. And we have arrived at our little apartment. It's a cute little, our neighbors have some Greek pride on a genuine alley with tons of restaurants and scenery.